Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new, my name is Laura Bifanoji. Thank you so much for sticking with me and for coming back. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use aloe vera for hair growth. I know you're wondering her hair is short and she's making videos on how to use aloe vera for hair growth. If you're a subscriber of mine, you will know I used to have Jericho, but for some reason it was breaking and shredding my hair so badly. So I had to cut it a few weeks ago, so I'm still trying to grow my hair naturally and as you can see it's coming through just fine my hair has been like two months or so and i'm actually surprised that it got this long because my hair don't used to grow so fast but i've been using all kind of natural ingredients like rice water aloe vera avocado whatever i'm going to be showing you guys my protein treatment in my next video so i don't want to make this intro so long if you are new and you're not subscribed to my channel please make sure to subscribe turn on your post notifications so i'll be notified whenever i upload a video and without any further ado let's just get on with the video As you can see my hair is so rough i just took out my protective style i whipped my hair so i just took it out and there's no way i'm going to comb out my hair dry so for this process i'm going to use aloe vera as a detangler to detangle and comb my hair out to start this process you have to make sure you wash your aloe vera thoroughly because of germs you wouldn't want germs to be in your aloe vera when you're done making it so you start off by cutting off all the sharp ends of the aloe vera so when you are done cutting off the sharp ends of the aloe vera you have to cut off the end of the aloe vera and then cut the aloe vera into small cubes When you are done, just split the aloe vera into two. Okay, now you just have to get a blade and start scraping out the aloe vera gel into the plate. This is a very hard process to do because of how slippery the aloe vera is, but trust me, it's worth it in the end. This is how it looks like when it's done. You can notice some particles in them because it's handmade. It's not well blended. But if you want it to be smooth, you can try and use your hand to smoosh it. But if at the end you didn't succeed, just use it like that. I've already shown you guys the process and this is how it looks. I tried as much as I can to smoosh it and make it soft, but this is how it looks there is still some particles inside of it i don't want to blend because if i blend it i'm very sure i'm going to lose all the all the aloe vera because you know how it is it's so slippery so i'm going to start from this side of my hair <laughs> See my hair is already even soft so this is a very good detangler if you don't know how to detangle your hair you can't actually use water but for someone who is trying to grow her hair you should use aloe vera because it's good and it enables hair growth as well so yeah
So I have finished detangling my hair. And it looks really good right now. So the next thing is to use it as a pre pull shampoo. I still have a little bit of aloe vera left. But if you're making this and yours finished, you can still make another one. But I still have one left. I'm going to use it as a pre pull treatment because while I was detangling my hair, most of the aloe vera would have gone out. So I'm still going to apply this onto my hair. You know, I still have a little left, so I'm going to use it. It should be enough for me. Ooh. So once I'm done applying them on my hair, I'm just going to wrap it up with this. And I'll leave it for like an hour, then I'll see you guys. <laughs> So it's been over an hour guys, as you can see my face, I actually slept off. So I'm just going to go wash my hair right now with this Kentu shampoo and this For this process, you need pure coconut oil or organic coconut oil. Add 2 tablespoons of your coconut oil into your cooking pot. Then add your sliced aloe vera into the pot and stir. Cover the pot and let it cook for about 5 minutes until it changes color to a light brown, then you know it's ready. Let it cool down a bit and then get your container and pour your oil into it. looks so beautiful but i'm just going to add a little bit of my special ingredient in them my tea tree oil and my black jamaican black castor oil i'm going to add a few drops inside because they both enable hair growth so i'm going to add a little So I'm going to add a little bit of my castor oil in. Ooh. So I'm not going to apply it in my hair. See, it looks like water. <laughs> It's not really nice Maybe because of the tea tree oil. So I think the moist is a little too much. So I'm going to I'm going to add my shea butter daily moisturizer to help seal in the moisture.
okay guys i think that's it for today's video i'm going to put my hair in a prosthetic style but because my hair is short it normally takes time so i'm not going to do it on camera so thank you so much for joining me please make sure to subscribe like and comment down below what you would like to see from me next if your post notification is not turned on please turn it on so you don't miss out on any of my uploads so that's it and thanks for watching bye